Greetings my YouTube friends, this is Guru Too Cool coming to you yet again on The People's Connection. Thank you for joining me once again. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about a sorority in Birmingham, Alabama who on Friday had to apologize about a racist t-shirt that was depicted and offensive towards African Americans. Let's get to the story. As you can see from the title here, a sorority apologizes for racist t-shirt made by Chapter in Alabama. A sorority in Alabama apologized on Friday for a t-shirt that it made depicting a racially offensive image of an African American person eating a water, piece of watermelon. Stacy Burton, the international president of Alpha Delta Phi, issued a public apology and said the organization will investigate how its chapter at Samford University in Birmingham, Alabama, was able to commission the making of the t-shirt. We are deep, quote, we are deeply disappointed in the choices made by the Sanford chapter and add our sincerest apologies to those expressed by the chapter. Burton, unquote, Burton said, African Americans liking watermelon is considered a racial stereotype and is generally regarded as offensive. So, first off, I just want to say, most African Americans, I probably like me, are sick and tired of these uh, so-called places of higher learning, uh, these universities across America where we have to witness racist bastards who you would think would be a lot smarter, but yet they pull this kind of stuff and then they, in the end they come around and say, oh, I'm sorry as if they didn't know what they were doing was was wrong. It's so stupid and you know what? That's what my t-shirt is about. Yep, you know, this t-shirt and this beanie I'm wearing. You know, there's people that's gonna be offended by it, but you know what? Exactly, it's just that is what you put out. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna do exactly what you do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize. But you see, it doesn't change things once you put things out there like that. It doesn't change the fact that it's out there. You've already done the damage. So to come back in the end and say, oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck that got to do with anything? You should have thought about it before you did the stupid act that you had to do. Yeah, and, and again, that's what, that's what this example I'm showing you in this video is doing. Uh, I'm wearing an offensive t-shirt and beanie to some. At, but yet, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. I hope you forgive me. You see how that works? It's pretty fucked up. But yet, higher places of so-called higher learning, these universities, I don't get it. I, I know that racists are dumb, ignorant, stupid motherfuckers. I know this. But damn, really, at a university, at the colleges, at that level, how do these people get in these schools? Oh yeah, that's right. Mommy and Daddy paid their way. That's right. I forgot. They they had one up on everybody else. They're privileged. Yeah, well, their privilege, their privileged life, allowing them to be racist and carry out racist things, and then in the end apologize for it, is stupid as fuck. Yeah. So, but anyways, I just had to share that with you. I'm I'm just sick of seeing this stuff every time. Most people of color, we have to go through this where we have to witness some kind of racist bullshit. And then you guys, in the end, a week later or so, you come back and apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we did that. Dumb fucks. What we need to do is boycott your sponsors. Boycott the fuck whatever we got to do to make you see where we're coming from. Okay, that's part A of this equation. Part B is African Americans... Brothers and sisters, this is this is the whole thing. This hat that I'm wearing, for instance, this is a word that we so-called took ownership of from a racist motherfucker. I can't believe this. And we call ourselves this, right? You say, oh, it's a term of endearment. But yet, we turn around in the next fucking instance and talk about, I'm going to kill that nigga. But yet, it's a term of endearment. And and then when this uh, so this comedian uses it at the White House correspondence dinner towards our president, uh, Barack Obama, people got offended by that. 
But yet, why would you get offended when Barack Obama and, and his presidency, presidency hasn't done much for African Americans anyways? So why would we get offended by that? Anyways, these words, we need to give back to white people their words. Nigger, nigga, and all that shit. Give it back to them. Laugh in their face when they use it. Because that's what I do. It throws them off every time because they don't know how to fucking deal with it. I first of all ask them, why are they telling me about their family? Well, I don't know them. Why are you telling me about your family? This lady tried to pull that shit on me in front of some other white people and that's what I told her. And they were all shocked because they didn't know what the fuck, where I was coming from. But I kept telling her, why are you telling me about your family? I don't know them. And then at one point she stopped because she, she was so dumbfounded. But yeah, you need to, we need to give back their words. Give it back to them because they use it as a weapon. And you guys are so stupid to fall for it every time. So, with that said, I'm going to end off this video by doing what I said I was going to do in the beginning. I apologize for this shirt if it offended anyone. And I apologize for this cap, this beanie, if it offends anyone. Anyways, I'm being really sarcastic, my friends, my YouTube friends. Listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you like this, hit the like button. If you have a comment about it, please leave me a comment. I don't mind. All is welcome. Even from some of the dumbass fucking trolls. You trolls kill me. You crack me up. You guys give me energy, though, so keep it coming. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. All right. With that said, I'm out. Peace.